this is a pretty interesting story. This is a comment coming from David Axelrod. David Axelrod is a, a, a guy that I really respect um, as a uh, commentator and as a political pundit now. He's not just a pundit, but, you know, he used to be, he was an Obama advisor, so he was part of the Obama administration. But, you know, like I saw him criticize Hillary Clinton for not going into Wisconsin and stuff like that. So Axelrod is a pretty real dude. Um, he's not just your typical, like, hack, like, you know, uh, James Carville or whatever, or whatever uh, kinds of, corporate hacks that you can think of he actually he actually says stuff that you wouldn't expect him to say so i respect his takes because of that it says biden's age would be major issue if he runs again axelrod says former senior obama advisor david axelrod warned that president biden's age could be a major issue in the 2024 presidential election presidency is a monstrously taxing job and the stark reality is the president would be closer to 90 than 80 at the end of the second term and that would be a major issue axelrod told new york times of 79 year old joe biden he looks his age and isn't as agile in front of the camera as he once was. This is fed a narrative about competence that isn't rooted in reality, he added. Um, Axelrod also claimed that Biden doesn't get the credit he deserves for steering the country through the worst of the pandemic, passing historic legislation, pulling the NATO alliance together against Russian aggression, and restoring decency and decorum to the White House. Um, a lot of Biden has been really complaining a lot about this too behind the scenes. He's basically been saying like, dude, what the hell? Like everything I'm doing, no one's covering it. No one's covering my COVID bill and all that stuff. But with hyperinflation and like the baby formula stuff and all the stuff going on, it's just, you know, it's not really a good look. Um, but it says Biden has reportedly already told political allies, including former President Obama, that he intends to run for office again in 2024. But Biden will be 81 in November 2024 and has faced months of low approval ratings, which reached an all time low of 58 percent disapproval in a morning consult poll last week. I fully expect him to run again, Democratic strategist Jim Manley has previously said of Biden, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are a bunch of Democrats and their st staffers watching very carefully as the weeks and months go by. If Biden does not run Vice President Harris at the top of the list of political contenders, potential contenders, though other previous presidential candidates, including Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg and Progressive Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders may also enter the race. So Pete Buttigieg is obviously waiting for his moment to shine, so he'd definitely jump in. There's an article um, that I think I saw where it said that Bernie Sanders hasn't, uh, he hasn't ruled out a 2024 run either. So that's obviously a big deal too. Um... His age will definitely be a factor and an issue if he runs again, but whether or not Biden can really win in 2024, I think, depends on many different factors. It really depends upon how much he can rebound right now until the 2024 election starts. Uh, you know, there's also his health aspects, you know, random health issues like a stroke or uh, like a glioblastoma can really just straight up pop out of nowhere. And he's in the danger zone of being 79. So, you know, you never know what could kind of pop up like that. So there's always kind of that looming over him. And obviously he's referencing, you know, his dementia like stuff going on where he's having all these different, you know, gaffes, 2040 gaffes on the campaign trail, you know, like calling uh, Theresa May Margaret Thatcher saying he was vice president during the Parkland shooting and, you know, all this different stuff, tons of different stuff. So um, it's it's interesting that he's saying this because he's an Obama advisor. And what you do need to know is that there's actually a lot of drama that went on between Biden, Hillary and Obama um, because Biden actually felt shafted by uh, he actually felt shafted by Obama because Obama actually went with Hillary over him. Biden wanted to be the next guy after Obama and uh, Biden's a lot of his own staff actually left him to go work for the Hillary campaign. So it's really awkward for some of them to have to come back to the Biden campaign in 2020 after they ditched him for the 2016 Hillary run that failed. So, you know, there was a lot of drama there because Biden felt really backstabbed. He's like, hey, dude, like I've always backed you nonstop. I'm your guy. And you went with Hillary over me. So he was supposed to run in 2016 as well, but he was convinced not to by Obama people. So it's actually not really as like, you know, uh, simpatico as you, as you may think. But, you know, his chances of winning will be interesting. Again, I think it largely depends on who his opponent is and how much he can rebound from now until the election. Right now, everything's going horribly. Obviously, there's really like a hyperinflation going on. Not hyperinflation, literally, but, you know, high inflation going on. And uh, his approval ratings are low. Keep in mind, I think Joe Biden was elected not because people like Joe Biden, but because people didn't like uh, Donald Trump. I think I'd seen an article that had said that the number of people who had voted for him, uh, voted for him as a just an anti-Trump guy was really high. So keep that in mind as well. 
Um, and so if Trump runs again against him, you know, we could see a Larry Elder effect. Remember, and Gavin Newsom was really looking was really looking bad until Larry Elder was announced as his opponent. Then his numbers skyrocketed. A similar thing could happen to Joe Biden. That might be the only way he can win. And if it's not him, who could win? You know, Bernie Sanders, Pete Buttigieg, I don't really know. It'll be really interesting to see. But even now, I just say there's just far too many variables to really be able to make any clear prediction about what would happen um, in terms of in a 2024 election with Joe Biden. So it'll be really interesting to see nonetheless. But yeah, it's going to be it's going to be really tough to be able to predict because there's so many different details to parse out.